Hello, uh, today I guess is the aftermath of the overnight storm. The, they say it's supposed to be like blizzard conditions where the snow will be blowing at possibly 60 miles per hour. Um, the, they are plowing, but there's not much people here right now. I don't start work until 10, I gotta work until 6, and Andrew got to work 8 to 4, and then we got Michael, I don't know if he'll show up today, but he's supposed to come in later, so it's like, I, I'm looking at it this way, and it's like, I, I don't think they're gonna need all of us here, no. Not not in the afternoon. Menards closes at eight PM today, so um but yeah, the roads are really bad and slippery. I was going twenty five to twenty miles per hour down the road. They did not plow the road that I was my husband and I live on. So I had to jerk around to get through, you know, otherwise, like I said, I wouldn't have made it to work, and I had to dig it to get my vehicle, even though I got four-wheel drive to go through that snow, yeah, they did a swipe, which helped some, but when I get back home, though, I'll have to sit there and dig a, a parking spot literally before I can park my car. Just because, you know, I got to be to work by 8 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> so, I have the feeling they ain't going to even bother giving me a last break. Let alone little that Andrew. I, I hate to say it. They will give him, they'll probably give him a lunch and a little break, but... They'll send him home early. I, I think they'll send him home at 3. And I, I think I'll get sent home at 5. Since Michael's closing. They'll have Michael. Like I said. Um, probably. You know, doing the closing. But I guess they even sent an email to my husband, already seen on Facebook, um, that they're, they canceled even church today. So, yeah. Uh, um, now, yesterday Menards told, was telling customers that they sold out of shovels even, and the way it sounded, they're about sold out of snow blowers. <laughs> so... But, yeah, we got in quite a bit of snow, but, uh, and I don't really see too many carts out here, and there's going to be two of us, even I'm afraid of them here for an hour, and then they send me home early, I mean... Yeah, it, it's a yikes experience, trust me. It's going to be a bitch trying to get home. I'd probably be driving like 20 to 25 miles on my way home. You can't even see where the road is. No. And the snow is blowing really good in some spots. But... Otherwise, like, like I figure, um, 
And I heard to have been better off, and I'm not going to say this to anyone in charge here, because then I will get in trouble. They would have been much better off just closing the store. I mean, the roads are really bad, and it's like, let the workers stay home, you know? And be safe, you know? Even if you have to just pay them anyway for today, and, you know, but, y you know, they'll, they'll never do that, but, um, yeah, there is ice on the roads, they said, and I guess further south, they got sleet. We're south of Eau Claire. They got sleet yesterday. So. The roads. They're saying. Are covered with ice. Under the snow. And there's people. Well I was going 20 to 25 miles per hour. We're going 40. And I'm like. I don't care. I ain't going in a ditch. I ain't going to wreck my car. You can go in the ditch and go flying in a ditch and do a donut in the road. Even there was someone that, um, I guess was driving down the, literally with their vehicle down the middle of the road. And here I'm driving on the side and I didn't want to hit this car so I had to keep my distance. Even some people are running literally red lights. Yeah. That, that's how bad it is here, I mean. And... it It's a something where, where you can see this all. But... I don't know. It, it isn't getting any better over here. But I know the they'll keep plowing the roads out, but if it stays like this until noon, I I don't even think they'll give me a lunch break. To be honest, if that happens, if it stays this slow up until noon, they'll send me home right at two. Instead of giving me a lunch, I'll be going home. Which I wouldn't mind, you know, just because I do need to, when I get home, sit there and shovel enough to get my car safely parked. So this way I can pull out of there easy. So, you know, and when you see this, it'll be Monday, so I'll already have done this all. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's just, wow, you can see how that snow's blowing, and right now I can feel the wind moving the vehicle around, even, even though I'm parked, so... Like, like us in Wisconsin, we're wondering when will it end. Because we, ne we haven't seen a 50 degree weather day for a lot of months now. Seriously, we, we haven't. We've been seeing a lot of snow and they're already talking about 30% chance that the Chippewa River is going to flood. Above flood stage, basically. So, um, since we all know it's going to flood, uh, that, that's why I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be a gradual warm-up, but next month it can warm up to 50 degrees here in Wisconsin towards the end of March. So...
But if it warms up too fast, it's going to be flooding guaranteed. That's all I can say right now.